There we go. So you can see that the, it's a little light here, but there's a blue box around that code. So you can see that we're, the contrast is a little low. This is expected. I'm printing laser etched on a black material. Uh, and that gray is just a little gray. It's not very bright. But overall, very readable and a 3.0 grade. If you ever see these standards, we're always going to have this up here. You have 3.0, that's our grade. That'd be a B in standard, you know, grading, like high school grade uh, levels. 10 is our mill size. Or, or, sorry, that's the aperture used. So that's the laser dot or analytic view that's being used to analyze the barcode. This could be changed. Right now it's set at half because that's typically what the standard has. If you had very specific applications, you could change that to be a different size so it matches whatever my barcode readers in the field are going to be. You have the wavelength of light. This is our red. So now this would actually analyze if we had a red barcode and you would know that the standard 660 nanometer wavelength of red laser that people use. And then D is our dome light. So it tells you what we're using. So this is being scanned with a dome light and you can see that right here when I pull the trigger. The lights around the edges are aiming up and we're getting a nice even red light on this verifier. Now, let's go to the axial non-uniformity code. And you can see there, looks like one of the codes we saw before, right? The one that was stretched. And that one comes up as decent and everything else. 3.0, 3.2. But axial non-uniformity is off the charts bad. Then we can go to one of the other codes. I don't know what's I assume modulation. I know this one says modulation, but I don't know how he marked that as bad modulation. It looks like good modulation to me. Modulation is the differences. So we'll go back to the waveform and thinking about data. Contrast, as you can assume, is our amplitude. It's what is the difference between our light and our dark. Make sense? Head nods. Modulation is going to be the difference in our peaks versus other peaks or our valleys versus other valleys. So if we look at, you know, as a waveform, what we're trying to do is have all of our elements the same black or the same white. That's not always going to be easy to do, both from the marking technology or our background. We saw those metals where we had, you know, bright edges. That's where modulation is just going to kill us in lighting. And so we want to do our best when we're creating the barcodes to have good modulation, have even backgrounds, have even marking, so that we don't have that problem. Then we can go to something like, uh, Print growth, which we saw on the bottom left. What do you think this is going to be affected here? Which category? Yeah. Let's yeah. hear a couple guesses. Throw them out. You won't be wrong. It's going to be a couple grid of them. Non-uniformity so. too. Grid. I'm hearing a couple. Anybody think anything else? We'll go with grid. So grid non-uniformity is. Will the overall thing line up? Oh, and we're not even, it's not very over printed. So it's still actually pretty decent. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Our laser marker was too good on that, making bad, making bad codes. If you do have significant overprinting here where our cells are smaller, modulation is where it's going to affect, typically. Because what happens is if, I'm, if I overlay my grid and it still fits in a square, my grid's good. Now, if you have something like... Can you bring up the 2D analysis? Yeah, absolutely. I'll go that on this one. This is a perfect one to show it. That's a, yeah, I'll show that on this one. So, grid non-uniformity is going to be heavily like this, where it's no longer a grid. Part of it's been stretched out. Maybe the metal is deformed when you tried to mark it, and so it was at a curve, and then you flatten it back out, and now that has a different shape to it. But maybe we want to look a little deeper into this. So we can go to our 2D analysis. I have a feeling this is going to pop up on my screen. So let me find the cursor. So 
So, you can see we do have these spaces are smaller than our marks. And it's very noticeable in our clock pattern. What that affects, and in this case, it's, it's our darks are so dark that it's helping us. If this background wasn't such high contrast, we are probably having more issues than we're actually having. But if we look on here, we have some numbers down here at the bottom. So we have our lowest reflectance module, and we have our highest. So that tells you our contrast. Again, that's our differences in uh, you know, our highest and lowest. And then we have our lowest modulation module, which is actually not too bad. But what it's measuring, if we look, is it's overlaid our grid of data, right? All of our information. This is, these are the, uh, the modules. Each of these are going to encode a specific piece of data, like a letter or number. And that's why you have redundant data, because there are more up here than there are bits. So you'll look at this. And once we, once we know our clock pulse, and we have our locate pattern, we can lay this grid over. And then we're just analyzing. We say, is this dark or light? Well, it's at a 5 contrast total, so that's light. We're going to go to here. Is that light or dark in that you know, space? Well, it's 62. That's light. So our, our significantly darker background here is giving us the edge on having a difficult modulation. If our background was less consistent, our modulation would go up a lot because what happens is somewhere like here. We're overprinting on the top, on the left, on the bottom, and not on the right. So because of the overprinting coming in at different amounts from each side, you're going to have a lot of variation in how dark your dark space and how light your light spaces are. Right now, it's, this material is, is uh, so very dark that it is absorbing a lot of light and helping us on the overall grade quality. But you can see how that would affect your modulation scores on here.